Hey everybody, welcome back to another live trading video. Quickly before we get into this video, I wanna talk about the trade just from a higher level. I took a really great short trade on gold. Not all of my trades are this good and I don't wanna come across like that on YouTube. I take losing trades just like everybody else, but this one was a big winner. We let it run. I was as patient as I could be with such a good trade. Uh, and I think that there's some valuable lessons to learn from our winners and losers. Please note that I've got a long list of videos on my YouTube channel that are my trading live videos. I'd recommend that you go through them. There are winners and losers in there and I think that there's stuff to learn on both sides of the winning and losing side of trading so thanks so much for joining me make sure to like this video down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more of this and let's get into the trade Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about gold and I'm gonna be trading this live. I've got a setup that I just entered right now, uh, just shared it with VIP members. By the way, if you're not already, you can find out information about the premium group that we offer at A1 Trading. You get access to chat rooms, all of my trades from start to finish shared inside of the group real time. So check that out if you're interested, there's a link down below in the description. But taking a look here at gold right now, I actually have a short side uh, position that I just took here on the account. Uh, actually, you know, very interesting interesting to talk about being on the short side because I've been a net buyer on gold quite a bit. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about why I ended up taking this uh, short position and why I think it has potential. It may not be the biggest win in the world. It may be. We'll see. But the idea here is very simple. We've got a slow in momentum after a really incredible run up to the upside on gold. We're looking at the one hour chart right now. And if you've been watching gold during all this craziness, gold has gone up incredibly strong in 2020. We've seen a really, really great year for 2020 uh, in terms of gold, maybe not in some other things, but in gold for sure. So why would I be taking this position? What's the idea behind the trade? Uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. So as gold has been going up like this, like crazy, a lot of times this is where things start hitting the news and people start getting really, really bullish about something. Uh, and sometimes it can get inflated. It get really, really out of control and the buyers can kind of take over a market. We saw this happen with Bitcoin. We've seen it happen with the S&P 500. We've seen it happen all over the place and it's a very common story when everybody gets incredibly bullish on something. Now granted, I am a gold bull overall, right? I believe that metals have a good place in the future and that you know I personally own some and you know, I think that this has plenty of potential. So why the heck would I be shorting it or selling it on a dip? Well, here's the reason. I think that again, even though I believe in this thing fundamentally, it can still get overbought in my view. And I think that gold has shown some signs of being too high and may have room to come down further. Now, if I take a loss on this, then no big deal. So I'm gonna talk first about the entry and why I'm actually in this trade. So we actually came up here and we formed a high point here right around here where we actually came up, we popped to the high side and we sold off. Then price continued rallying higher but formed another high right around here. Now, the third component of this, if you're familiar and you know where I'm going with this, came right up here where we popped up today, found some failure and sold off lower. This to me is a head and shoulders pattern. It's very simple. I know it's nothing fancy or revolutionary, but it's a simple concept where we basically see buyers unable to continue to make higher highs. And that is what we're seeing right now with gold. We're seeing after that super long bullish run up, we're seeing a momentum slow that I think has potential to turn around and go to the south side. Now with this, I've taken a small position and I've also put my stop in place just above that failure high. So this is what I'm going to actually be using right here for my stop out. So if price decides to come back up here and break through that level, then I'm just going to stop out of the trade on gold and call it quits, call it today and move on from this position. Uh, but I'm using this level specifically because this is where buyers basically got beat pretty hard, right? So buyers did pop off all, uh, off of this trend line here that I've gotten drawn. We did see some bullishness there, but then we actually broke that right away. Sellers were able to break that back down and push it back to the low side. And that's where I started getting interested. The next component to where I actually decided to enter was right here when we started to show signs of weakness underneath this trend line. So the last couple times prices come up to this trend line, we've seen buyers step in and push price right off that level right away and take, take up that position. 
But right now what we're seeing is we're not seeing buyers react as strongly. It doesn't mean that's a guarantee that we see you know, coming down to, to the lows again or, or crazy downside. But what it does tell me is that, okay, well, buyers are not as interested, at least right now, in taking buy positions. So I think that there might be some more room for this pullback to be a little bit bigger. Again, we are very stretched on the higher time frames in my view. And so on the shorter time frames, I'm looking for potential downside here uh, on gold. Again, I also like this short term trend line that we see in play. Again, some lower highs coming into play, showing some signs of weakness from the bulls, at least right now. So with that said, I've got my entry listed, I've got my stop listed, but where is my target? Well, in this trade, I have no potential targets. So what that means to me is that, again, we're very stretched on those higher time frames, showing that there's plenty of downside potential if the market decides to come down. So let me talk to you guys really quickly about risk to reward because it's so important in trading. So when we are talking about a position like this, to me, it's not necessarily do I think gold is going to go up or down. It's more if gold comes down, what's the reward? What's the risk? If gold goes up, what's the reward? What's the risk? If gold goes up, I find that it's much more likely to be, there's less reward relative to risk in my view, because we are already very, very up. We're very inflated. Buyers have pushed this thing really high. And I think that the upside is limited, whereas the downside, to me, the, the pullback by itself could be huge. And so that's why I have a short bias here, or at least in the short term time frames here on the one hour chart, looking to see if we can get some further downside off of this one. And so I've taken that position. So what I mean by not putting a reward on this is I don't know how far this thing wants to go, but I'm gonna use a Fibonacci tool. I've programmed this just to have some key levels. People always ask me about these ones. If I go to my uh, Fibonacci properties, I've actually changed these to have uh, just key levels. You can copy those if you want, if you're interested in those, but I've just made it so that my risk is at this point here. So you can actually see my, my stop loss right around here. And then you've got uh, the entry here and you can see it identified over on the far right. So this is my, my stop, this is my entry, and these are 1R, 2R, 3R, so on and so forth as to where I will use these levels to potentially move my stop. I'll actually move that so you guys can see. But basically what you'll see there is uh, right here on the, the right side of the screen where we are talking about the entry the 1R, 2R, 3R, so on and so forth. As price comes down, if it does come down, uh, I'll use these levels to kind of keep in relation to my risk and I will move my stops accordingly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a trailing stop to move my position into place here with this gold short. So we'll see how it goes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep you guys updated with any changes I make to the position and share them with you live. Whether it's a winner or a loser, we'll see. Hopefully this one works out and uh, we'll see it soon. All right, traders, well, it is the next day and as you can see pretty clearly from the screen, gold really sold off and our analysis in this case it, we're not always perfect, but in this case, we were definitely right. I was, you know, I caught that move to the downside. We did see the failure here uh, and the break lower. So that indeed ended up being a nice little head and shoulders concept there, breaking underneath this long-term trend line that we've been watching. Uh, and that was really kind of the trigger that got me interested in being short here. Now you can see prices really come down on gold. We've actually seen uh, in the last couple four four hour candles, we've seen just multiple uh, hard selling candles, which to me, is a really good sign. So you can see overnight, just by coming back to this position, uh, we are currently up about 2.2 uh, R. Basically what I mean by that is here's my initial risk. Remember we used this tool to show that. Uh, here's where the initial uh, stop loss was at. And I've actually moved up my stop here to a little bit better than break even. So why have I done that and why haven't I moved it more? Well, uh, what we've actually done here is I've decided to move this stop to break even for now. Uh, I will probably at some point today, if especially if this thing gets a little bit more stretch, if we see some more structure break uh, somewhere around here, we might even look to move up to a 1R or 2R uh, stop. I will have to reevaluate that off camera. But uh, either ways, the idea here is that we have moved up that initial stop right back to uh, our break even or a little bit better than break even there uh, and letting this thing run because I don't know how far gold really wants to go. What I do know is that we showed some signs of topping. We showed some potential slowdown in the momentum there, and we saw a key break underneath the level I was watching for. 
that was all it took for me to take this short to get on the short side, take that sell uh, trade and let it run here. So I don't know exactly how far it's gonna go, but what you'll notice is that I've got all these different levels uh, set up on my Fibonacci retracement pool that I'm just using as a, a risk reward kind of gauge. So I've currently got, again, just a little bit better than a 2R on this trade. If I were to close it out right now, I would take about two times my risk in terms of my reward, uh, but that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna let this trade play out because we have a couple scenarios and I know that there will always be people when I take these trades that tell me after the fact, once they've seen the video, how the results come out, they'll tell me, well, you should have taken profits here or you should have taken profits here or you should have trailed stops until you reach this, right? There's always that hindsight bias. My point with making this video in real time is to show you guys the thought process that's going on in real time because I don't know exactly what's gonna happen next. I have some ideas, I have some probabilities I'm gonna try and play off of, but I don't have any factual 100% foresight knowledge of where the market's going and I don't think that anybody really does. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to let this trade play out as best as it wants. Now, to be fair, this could completely reverse by the end of the day and tag me back out for a break-even trade. It wouldn't be nice, or at least wouldn't be as fun, but it could happen and it is part of trading and it has happened to me before many times. It's part of the game. However, if this trade decides to wanna keep rolling, I'm gonna just keep trailing the stop and let this become a really big winner, right? So what happens with this is I define my risk by using a small, uh, a relatively small stop loss, and then I use an unlimited potential downside uh, or upside, I guess, in this case, right? Upside profit potential. So that is basically what I'm doing with this trade. I'm keeping it very simple. I'm trailing that stop in. And again, if it wants to keep rolling, I'll just keep moving that stop and let it become one of those really, really big record winners for me. But if it decides not to do that, then I will close out with whatever the market chooses to give me. I'm not gonna be greedy, I'm not gonna change my plan, and I'm not gonna listen to YouTube comments to tell me what I should do or should not do in hindsight. Again, that's not being mean, but I think that everybody in their trading should have that mental decision to not listen to other people's comments, but rather to listen to their own plan and stick to it from start to finish. That's what we're doing in this video, so stay tuned. I'll be back with an update shortly. So I started to get up and start doing other things, and all of a sudden I look over at the chart and we just hit a three R here on the gold trade, things really just going uh, in our favor today. It's it's a good day in the markets for me right now. Uh, so let's see what we've got going on with this current trade. So I've actually seen this trade uh, go down and hit a 3R now. Uh, and what you'll notice is I've gone ahead and trailed my stop up from that break even point all the way down to a 2R. Now I skipped the 1R because of how momentum, how much momentum there is right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and trail that stop in, lock it at 2R. And if it wants to keep going, of course, like I said, I will continue to let it run. But at this point we've locked in about two times our initial risk, which is uh, to me a really good place to be in. What that tells me is I really don't don't have to look at this trade for a little while. What it means is uh, I can just check in periodically and say, hey, you know, if it continues to roll over, I'll continue to trail that stop. But otherwise, if I just get stopped out, it's a good trade either ways. We've made some great money on this one, regardless of how it turns out. So happy to see how it went. Again, decided not to close that trade just because it did come to a supportive level. I liked the momentum shift. I liked that double top and thought that there was a pretty good chance that the overall downtrend here could continue, or at least the start of a downtrend here could continue. So very possible that we do see some give back, that we see some recovery. Uh, and if that happens, that I will just get out of the trade and potentially look for a new setups on gold even. Potentially going on the short side depends how the market turns out. But the big idea here is I'm just trailing that stop, uh, currently locked in, again, that 2R relative to my uh, 1R initial risk. So uh, risking just that short little period of time, uh, we've actually come down and hit a 3R, meaning that uh, you know we've, we've hit three times our risk, but I haven't really moved my stop. So again, I know that sometimes people don't like this strategy because they say, well, you know, I feel like once it gets down to a 3R or something, maybe I should just take the trade and, and close it, which, you know, who knows, in, in 45 minutes, I might look like a dummy because I only took a 2R on a trade that was at 3R, right? Very possible that, that could happen and it has happened to me before. So we'll see, but my, my goal here is again to let this trade run as much as we want. The big thing here that I wanted to also mention with gold that I actually like on the short side is we've broken underneath right around that $2,000 mark, which psychologically is a big level for a lot of traders, right? Because a lot of people are looking at that $2,000 mark. Everybody's talking about it on the news. Um, they said, you know, gold is above that 2000 mark. It's a big buy. There's a big chance that, you know, we're, we've broken that 2000, you know, a, a long ways away from it very shortly. But unfortunately, uh, for the bulls, at least the price has come down pretty hard. We've broken underneath that psychological level. And to me, that's another reason to hold on to this trade, see what it wants to give. And we'll take our profits, whatever, however they want to come. So again, locked in that, that 
to our risk reward and looking pretty good. We'll see what ends up happening. And of course, I will keep you guys updated on the, the next move. All right, guys. So gold continued to rally lower. Really, really an incredible move here watching this. Uh, just while I've been in the office today, I've just been doing a lot of different things, doing some content and that sort of stuff. And actually watching this gold trade on one of my monitors, just as it continues to, to go lower, uh, I am actually going to trail this stop a little bit more here. So currently we are just shy of about a four our risk reward again recapping what that means basically here's my initial risk and you can actually see that at this point we are uh, just around four times that distance in terms of reward here so what I'm gonna do with this position is I'm going to as I mentioned before continue to trail my stop and to let this trade play out I'm gonna go ahead and lock in here about a 3R reward to risk basically locking in three times my initial risk in terms of profit here so the worst thing that can happen is I close out this trade with a 3R which would be really nice but as we do run lower here on gold I'm just gonna let this thing again uh, I don't know where it goes I think I still have a short-term bearish outlook on this but I don't know where that ends so my idea here is basically just to continue to trail that stop and take this good uh, trade this good uh, profit and just lock it in and continue to roll with it you can actually see that we came down to our 3r point uh, which lined up interestingly with this uh, supportive structure right around here we did get an initial bounce but what I really liked here is that we did in fact roll over over here and break back lower underneath that supportive level that to me is also bearish and so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and trail my stop in a little bit more lock it in just around that 3R mark and I'll be back with you guys as soon as I'm done with that alright guys and there we go I've just locked in this profit here at about a 3R so again my initial risk here one two three locked in in terms of profit with my trailing stop uh, in place just around this structure I do think that if price does pop up here we could just get a pretty in, uh, end of the day kind of rally we'll see if that ends up happening uh, but again I just want to stay out of the way of this market as much as I can let it run if it wants to uh, and just kind of trail in behind the price move so we'll see how long this gold sell-off wants to last and of course uh, we'll either move stops once more or we'll close out of this trade with a nice at this point about eight percent gain on the account which is really really big uh, a lot more than I had expected from this move again uh, that's what happens when sometimes when you just let those winners run without putting a target on it is they can become very very big just like how sometimes people let their losers become giant without actually stopping them out or trying to get rid of them or find ways to mediate it or taking big positions right it can be very key uh, to actually do the opposite and let your big trades run and keep going and become those monster trades in the right direction for you so we'll see how this one plays out and again I will be back with you guys uh, for an update soon Okay, so it is later in the day now and I just updated my short position here on gold trading now underneath the 5R ratio. I've had to zoom way out on this chart just to see the full trade. You can actually see that here's our initial entry, right? Our initial stop was just above that swing high as we initially mentioned and price has continued to move lower in our favor. We are currently trading uh, at a 5R or more just slightly uh, in terms of profit, but I've actually locked in here just about a four our position or profit there. So if price does decide to come back, then no worries. I will stop out for at this point a four times my initial risk, which is uh, really pretty dang good. So I'm pretty happy with this trade so far, obviously, uh, and still willing to let this thing run. We've seen some incredible sell off on gold right now. And I think that, uh, you know, what we've had is we've had a serious shift in this trend. So we did have, like we talked about the initial reasoning behind this trade. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, we, we really broke structure. And we found that momentum just completely shift the other direction. And now we see a lot of sell side momentum and I'm still willing to hold this position until it trails me out of the, the trade. We in this uh, dynamic stop so just letting it do its thing uh, and so we'll see if we end up getting stopped or not currently again trading around a four times my initial risk uh, that is not bad at all and very happy with no matter what happens with this trade from here not only have I locked in uh, you know my profit to break even but I've, I've again trailed this one down uh, and now have locked in a pretty dang good profit much more than I had even expected off of this trade purely just trading that reversal uh, after signs of momentum slow very simple concept 
concept. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and update this trade alert to my members inside of the A1 trading community. By the way, again, if you're not already a member, you can find out information and join us inside of our chat rooms and see all the trades that I am taking as well as some of our other analysts inside of that group. Uh, check the link in the description. There should be a promo code for you as well to get $5 off the group. So uh, we'll see how this one plays out and I'll be right back after some more time passes with an update. All right, traders, so it is the next day. I am back in the office and my gold trade officially closed out here for just about a four to one risk to reward in the end here. So again, uh, just a recap of the overall trade and how it went. I took the initial short underneath this broken trend line with the slowing momentum off of this lower high and basically got short right around here. You can see my entry is right there. Uh, and I ended up getting short and letting this thing run uh, 1R, 2R, 3R, 4R. Uh, and actually I had been trailing my stop up along the way, one behind the other. Uh, but actually while I was asleep last night, uh, price came down all the way to just about a six R and reversed on me. Uh, and if you guys remember from the last clip, I had basically set my stop at 4R. So I ended up taking a 4R move there on uh, gold here. You can actually see just roughly speaking, what is that, 1,050, 1,070 pips. Really incredible move there on gold, just catching the slowed momentum, the head and shoulders basic break to the downside there. And things worked out very, very nicely, trailed that stop in. Now, here's a little bit of hindsight for you, or at least a, I wish I could have or should have moment for you. I wish <laughs> that when I had been sleeping, uh, I had paid attention or I had been awake or set a stop uh, here once price hit that 6R. Because if you remember, as I was going along, I was basically trailing in that stop one behind the next. So whenever we would hit 2R, I'd uh, trail the stop at 1R. When we hit 3R, I'd put it at 2R and just kind of trail that stop in. Well, uh, by my, my plan, I would have set my uh, stop here at the 5R mark here after we hit that 6R. But I did not, uh, I was not awake for that, so unfortunately, I uh, ended up only taking 4R there. But I'm still completely fine with this trade, very happy with how it worked out. Uh, maybe in the future I could find some tool to automate this, but uh, I still like the idea of evaluating the trade myself. Uh, before letting just a bot kind of automate it, you know, move this stop for me. So what I probably uh, would do uh, is just say, you know, I like to evaluate each one of my trailing stop positions as they go along. Uh, again, kind of evaluating the structure of the market using price action and other technicals to potentially make a decision as to whether I want to trail the stop or not. Um, so with that said, again, taking a 4R trade there very, very nicely here uh, this morning as price did start to reverse, got out of that trade, took the profit. Although it was down to 6R, I only took 4R and that's okay. That is part of the strategy. If you remember early on in the trade, uh, when we were at 2R, I had mentioned that there's this temptation to just go ahead and take that profit. But look at the difference. Had I taken profits there just because I was at 2R, I would have missed out on this second additional two more R, or two times my risk, so four times my risk, rather than just taking that 2R. So it's very you have to be very careful that you don't just rush to take profits, in my opinion, especially if you're gonna try to catch a bigger move like this one. You have to be willing to let those trades really run. So guys, thanks so much for watching this trade. I hope that you got something out of this. I hope that you subscribe if you haven't already so that you can see more of this content in the future. I share these videos completely for free, sharing my trades, my strategy, all that sort of concept. So if you would, if you enjoyed this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up down below and uh, leave your comment what you think. Uh, did you catch any of this gold move. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you back in the next one.